G'day ladies and gentlemen, I'm just some Aussie gamer and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. The, uh, the focus has now been modified, it's now an S1 uh, 838, so I've done basically all that you basically can to it. And uh, as you'll remember in the previous episode, we uh, unlocked a barn find, so let's, uh, let's mark that on the map and let's, uh, let's go find the barn find, but I don't actually know where to go for it, so that's always good. Is there any like, right, okay, out over here somewhere, cool. So it's going to be somewhere in that circle, so let's see how it drives. As you can see, I've just sort of updated the colour a bit, made the wheels a bit blacker. Yeah. Still basically looks like the same car, but it's got a lot more get up and go. Ah, look! A challenge cart. Some cheeky driver must have left it here. But we're not going to let that stand, are we? Don't know what you're on about, mate. I'd suggest a Take a good look at your life, make sure there's no drugs involved, and, uh, yeah. If you're having continuous hallucinations, maybe get that checked. Because I didn't see shit. Ah, oh. oh, this thing's fucking quick now. Speed trap. Only two stars. Well, you know I am only gonna focus, so you know. I get ten thousand dollars for going through a speed trap? Bloody hell, usually you get fined ten thousand dollars for going that fast through a speed camera. I wanna live in this world. another sign or whatever I'll deal with those signs at a later in a later episode great speed in 400 meters turn left Oh wow, 280 k's an hour around the corner. I can't imagine what the tires were probably thinking of that. Alrighty, now there's gonna be a barn somewhere in here. My Xbox controller is about to vibrate out of bloody hell. Who the hell takes a lowered focus through the water? Now as I was saying, the Xbox controller is about to vibrate out of me fucking hands here. Now, is that a barn? they considered to be a barn. Doesn't look like it's got a garage door in it, so I'm going to assume that's not a barn. This is not the barn that we are looking for. You have arrived at your destination. Well, you say that, but I don't actually have a specific destination. I need to go exploring. Ooh, there's a barn over there. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Wow. Maybe. We have a bit more uh, behind it and break through. Yep, that wasn't really good, was it now? Am I on to something? Obviously not. 
any other barns in this? I mean, there's a soccer field. Hmm. Is that little barn down there? A barn? And more to the point, is it within the location of what we're looking for? I don't think that's a barn. Hmm. Okay, maybe up at this house over here there'll be what is constituted to be a specific barn that they want me to find. Is that a house or a pub? It's like an old British pub. Looks like I'm going to find James May out the back almost. No, that's not a barn. Right. Okay. This is a little harder than what I first hoped. Hmm. Well, that's the end of that, so I'm going to... Calculating route. Alright, so that took me about 12 minutes to uncover, but I get the feeling that this might actually be it. So, let's... Yes, it is. Found it. Damn, that's hard what to find. What did I tell you? Be right there. Whoa, check it out. Escort RS Turbo. That's nice. mad. Some 17 year old boy loved this thing to death. Probably before I was even born. That is Let's absolutely get it back to the stunning. That needs a good bloody restoration though. Holy fuck. Don't worry. If there's any hoon left in it, we'll find it. Sounds good to me. Now, uh, turns out the Focus RS was possibly not, um best vehicle to take on this journey. I would have been much better off with that Range Rover, so I think I'll use the uh, Range Rover from now on to find these barn fights. Alright, so I'll just get myself down from here without uh, dying. 
and then we'll pick a location on the map to head to. Can't believe that took me so long. Wow. I thought I said without dying. Can't believe that took me so long to bloody uh, find, but it did. So, yeah. Typical man. Won't, uh, won't ask for help when he can't find something, refuses to read the instructions, etc, etc. So, what's this? Let's, uh, let's start some Top Gear chapters. See what happens. And then if we've still got a bit of time, then we'll go uh, play a bit with that Range Rover that we picked up in the previous episode Turn from the cross-country racing. Safe to do so. so that we have a really good car for, uh, I guess, just searching for barn finds. That sounds like a pretty piss... Uh, Piss poor car enthusiast excuse. Why do you need an SUV, honey? Oh, I just need a car to find barn finds in. Yeah. Somehow I don't think that would go over well. But, worth a shot. In 400 meters, turn right. Damn. This thing is a beast now. Turn right. Pretty sure it's now a 2.6 litre turbo. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, mate. I'm not going to fix your fence, though. In 200 meters, turn sharp right. He's probably thinking to himself, oh, I'll see you next Tuesday then, mate. And if anybody uh, knows what that reference actually means, they'll know what I'm saying. Hit a tree. And I'm not even an 18 year old in VF, uh, VF, VS Commodore. Not gonna lie, that, uh, that barn finds taking it out of me, shaking the, uh, shaking the, oh, I can't even come up with the words anymore. Too much concentration and frustration and no other times, you know, other types of Asian, if you know what I mean, Master. <clears throat> Two kilometers. Should be a breeze in this thing. In 400 meters, turn right. If I only had the money for one of these in real life, that would be absolutely mad. More water crossings. That's, that's another reason why we need to uh, do something with that Range Rover because the amount of water crossings that this Focus is just not designed to do in its lowered stance state. Bloody hell, I keep yawning. I think I need a coffee. Fucking hell. You have arrived Beautiful. Alright, Top Gear Horizon Special. Let's see if it's the good top gear or the shit gear. Season changing. Tonight, the Stig drives some very fast farm equipment, I hail a taxi, and finishing with something that I'm reliably informed is a bit of a fan favorite around here. Lotus. Mighty car mods, eat your heart out. Now I've got my own Lotus. I'm Chris Harris, and this is the Top Gear Horizon Special. Oh well, at least it's Chris Harris. Ah uh, yes, the Stig, our very own UFO, unidentified fast object, the world's least obedient racing driver. So I'm going to try and stay above 145 kilometers right, an hour the least, a to the destination. Is that average or? Two seats, engine in the middle, three-wheel drive, not an ounce of fat. This is what driving is all about. All right, it's not the fastest way around the corner, but it's definitely the most entertaining. How can you expect me to do 145 k's an hour at all times and then give me 90 degree corners? Like. This isn't just any Elise, it's a Sport 190, a tuned up, stripped out Elise for track days. Even the passenger seat is an optional extra. But who needs friends anyway? Friends are expensive and heavy. 
yes! That's it. The honourable art of drifting. It weighs well under 700 kilos and makes 190 horsepower from its 1.8-litre engine, which drifts to 8,000 RPM. Just listen to that. I mean, it's a mad car. Handles handles like a go-kart, goes like a go-kart. I'm not gonna get three stars, am I? Wow, three stars. Somebody you mean somebody made this in a minute forty. Fucking Jesus. I have literally got my foot glued to the front of the company. Colin Chapman simplified the hand lightness, he said. The sport went on to four five and four roll cage, just in case. Really doesn't have that much, uh, High RPM guts on these hills, though, so lacking a little bit. I mean, it's decent, but it is it could be better. I'm gonna get two stars on it. How the hell did somebody do this in one minute forty? Made it. Was there ever any doubt? The series one at least okay. is, after all, one of the best handling cars. And then the AI ever made. just takes us the off road. Is its hardcore cousin a road-going racer you can drive to work and across fields? It turns out. But if it's true agricultural transport you're after, we have just the thing. Oh fuck! They dressed me up as the Stig for God's sake. qualified for Horizon Winter and I've barely done any of the actual races, so... I don't care about Fortune Island. Alright, let's go to the festival. Let's play with this, uh... so much shit all up. I'm just gonna make a point on the GPS like that and just go to within near the festival and then I'll find the uh, earn 20 influence to, con to qualify for Horizon Winter. If I just drift a corner I'm qualified. That should get me a qualification once it all uh, mathematically calculates. Boom, there we go. I'm now qualified for Horizon Winter. Turn left. Congrats! You've qualified for Horizon Winter season. Conditions and competition will be fierce. Woolly seat covers and hot water bottles are optional. Okay. Closing map. Oh, fuck you. Didn't, didn't bother to pull my car over or anything for me. Just throw me straight back out of the map at fuck knows what kilometers an hour and just expect me to be able to drive. Yeah, sure. Why don't you put me on my phone in the process? This game does some really weird, stupid and frustrating things. I'm not going to lie. It's a great game so far, but it just does a few things where you go, really? So now we are within the Horizon Festival area. Now we just got to find the. Uh... Okay, that's the festival site. 
guessing that's what I want. Yeah. Transition to next season. What about all the other races? Do I... S okay, I'm transitioning to the next season. I... <sighs> Alright. I hope they let me complete the rest of the... Hey, Bryce. They do. Welcome okay. to the winter season. Heck, fuck for that. I'm putting together our winter showcase. If you can think of a driver with a little bit of experience, a lot of influence, and a train to catch, be sure to let me know, yeah? Sure. Entering the Horizon Festival site. Um, my garage, my cars, my Land Rover, yes, Range Rover, get into that, thank you very much, and then we will spend some dollary dues on a bit of an upgrade for it, so we'll just max this bitch out, So let's do it. And then let's install that setup. For fucking Jesus. Righto. And that's it. That's it for this episode. Because I need a coffee. I am like, I can't even put English sentences together anymore. In fact, let's just say I can't put sentences because of course they're going to be in English because that's the language I speak. See what I mean? Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, guys, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. If you've got any uh, criticism, feedback, things you like about the video, things you don't like about the video, chuck them in the comments. I read every single comment and I try to uh, put them back into the video, make the videos better for you guys who are watching them. Anyway, until next time, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Look after yourselves. Have a great rest of the day. Cheers, and I'll catch you in the next video.